Okay, shalom, shalom, kom ya shahala, koholoyim la, yehawa, bahashim, rechachachudash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water for the Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh our Lord, to the best of their ability. Zachanah Nawaf, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Um... And this is an email that I got, you know, just a few hours back. I was at the plantation and never got an email like this before. But as you can see, it's Barack Obama, his goddamn Hamite, you know, the man that they use to fool you so-called Negroes and thinking that he was a so-called Negro like you had to run out and vote for this man. And all he done was promote and push forth the agenda of the, the alphabet people, the LGBTQ. Same thing that, um, that Biden is doing. But anyway, he was here in town, I think that was yesterday, <clears throat> here in Detroit, campaigning for the um, Mich Michigan governor, um, Governor Gretchen Whitmer. If you're familiar with her, she's the one that those Edomites, you know, was plotting to kidnap and all this other stuff. It was three guys. I think they got, um, they was found guilty about three or four days ago, about a week or so ago, whatever, whatever. But, you know, hey, they was trying to kidnap her. <laughs> but anyway... But that's this. This is all Edomite work, man. See, and these Democrats are losing on such a scale to the point where they got to bring out all the tricks, man. So they'll send somebody like Obama. And then it was a, 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 a nigga woman in the crowd talking about Obama, you fine in a mug. What, what she said, fine in a mug. You know, so they thought that she, you know, kind of said the, the, you know, the, the, the actual curse word of it. Well, what they call it, you know, mug, you know what it is. But, you know, she, you know. He, he all like, yeah, I won't tell um, uh, Michelle. You know that silly shit. Here you go. This man is is, is on a campaign tricking you niggas. <laughs> and, and this is what you got to say. So you'll go vote for this nigga because you think he's so fine. Anyway, the nigga woman, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American women, really, especially the nigga woman, they went and voted in. They go and vote these Democrats in on a large scale. Because how did Biden get there? Biden got there by pushing that he's going to keep abortions going. He wants you to continue on killing your damn children. But let's get the let's let's get this email because I never got nothing like this before. Not only do they want me to <laughs> to vote for this clown, but he wants a donation. He wants a donation, or they want a donation. Here you go. It says, in eight days, we have the opportunity to elect Democrats at the local, state, and federal levels who will keep America moving forward. Man, <laughs> yeah, right. But I, how are you keeping America moving forward when you're promoting killing babies? Don't you need people to actually have a state, city, local um, community, a government? Doesn't that involve people? How are you killing off the people? And then, come on, man. It says, but I need to let you know, he says, but I need to let you know, I need to let you in on something, Salakia. We're not going to be able to do it without your support. Times like these require folks like you rising to meet the moment. And believe me when I say that the stakes are just too high to sit this one out. Our grassroots teams have stepped up in big moments like this in the past, but I need you to make your first donation of the year right now. Yeah, all right, nigga. That's your motherfucking mind. You think I'm going to give up anything. <laughs> it says make a seven dollar donation to the Democratic National Committee before the final fundraiser deadline of this election. So they have donate seven dollars, donate ten dollars, donate twenty five dollars, donate fifty, donate one hundred, donate another. So that means that, hey, you can donate. I'm, I'm sure hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, whatever you you want to, you know, you want to put in on. All to keep some wicked ass people in, in office and, and see Joe Biden, people starting to see Joe Biden. He's fumbling all over stage. He's falling off bicycles. He's falling up the stairs, going to Air Force One. They see his ass. He, he can't even he don't know which way to get off the stage when he's doing a speech. The gas prices are through the roof. The food prices are through the roof. They, they looking at this dude. Hey, this might be the most. <laughs> Hated or most fucked up president ever other than Obama, man. You see? And, and like I said again, the only people that really benefit 
from this from those two, Obama being president and Joe Biden being president, is the LGBTQ community, man. This these people want your children to turn their genders around. They want your daughters to not have babies. They want your sons to not even get with a woman to have a baby. Come on, man. It says, with your help, President Biden and Democrats in the Congress have accomplished so much in the past few years. Together, we passed legislations to lower costs for working families. Lower costs? Man, I just came from the supermarket. I just got four tomatoes. Them bitches is like a dollar a piece. The tomatoes was four, four, dollars, four tomatoes, four dollars, damn near, man. The food is through the roof, man. You shouldn't be, man, look, tomatoes is something you will, um, you know, I should be growing them in my own backyard, but God damn, you think, and this was at the at Walmart that has the, you know, a monopoly on having a bulk of that shit. And, and <laughs> tomatoes shouldn't cost you no more than 10 to 20 cent a piece, man. Here you go, a dollar? Come on, man. He, he, he's saying together we pass legislations to lower costs for working families and rebuild our nation's infrastructure. Are you serious? These rag And you know what? This lady that he's promoting, this governor, with, she came in. Her campaign slogan was fix the damn roads. I promise you not. That was verbatim. Fix the damn roads. That I remember when she got voted in. She was all over these commercials. Fix the damn roads. In the roads here, man, look, you'll tear a tire off your car with these big ass potholes in this place. They got sinkholes. People walking, it, it was a man that was walking across a bridge. Matter of fact, he was like a kid, you know, not too old. But he was walking across a bridge and the goddamn bridge opened up. He fell through the bridge onto the freeway. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, come on, man. Look, what else they got? They says, if we elect Democrats up, and down the ballot this year, we can continue to deliver positive change for families everywhere. Man, this is how bad they losing though, because I'm telling you, I've never gotten an email asking me about a damn donation. I've never gotten an email about um any vote. Like, you know, this is stuff that you sign up for. And I'm a Hebrew Israelite. <laughs> I'm not signing up for any of this shit. I'm not voting for none of these people. You see what I'm saying? So why would you send me an email? But they figure... They'll go into your zip code, they'll see what zip code you're in, and if you're in one of those poorest communities, they figure those are niggas, and niggas are gonna vote for Obama. Because Obama said to vote for these people. He's not the president no more, but he has this influence of going around and rallying for these people, man, to keep these wicked ass Democrats in office, man. It says if we elect Democrats up and down the ballot this year, we can continue to deliver positive change for families everywhere. That is why we have to reach and mobilize as many voters as possible over the next eight days. Otherwise, everything that we fought so hard to achieve together could be on the line. And people are not with it, man. You Democrats done fell up. Hey, it's not that you ever was on top like that, but you this year. These past couple of years that this boy, this Biden dude been there, man, shit been terrible. You can barely afford a goddamn a, a, a tank of gas, man. Here you go. You, all your money is going towards bills, man. You you people done blown through their savings. It's people out here. You can look at YouTube and TikTok videos, and, and it's and it's so called Negroes out here. Like, man, bring Trump back. <laughs> Bring Trump back and bring him back immediately. At least when Trump was in office, I wasn't paying five dollars a gallon for a gallon of gas. Man, you a gallon of damn milk the same. A carton of eggs, five six dollars. Man, are you serious? These are things, man, that, that that used to cost a few dollars. It says, will you chip in seven dollars to the DNC before the final fundraising deadline? We need to make sure their mobilization voter protection programs and other important initiatives are fully funded in the last eight days. With only a few days left before election day, I promise you, your support matters. Thank you for being on this team. Barack. Barack Obama with that dumbass smile. This is a Hamite. He is not a Negro. He is not related through bloodline to you Negroes that went out and voted in droves for this guy. Everybody with melanin is not the same people. You have to understand that. 
Here you go, the so-called white man telling you that you're African and American, two damn continents that's named after two so-called white men, and, and you just run with it, man. This this guy is not a Negro, man. He is not of our, he's not the same bloodline as our people. But what the so-called white man does is they'll throw you somebody that look like you. That's why so many motherfuckers ran out and voted for Biden because of um, Kamala. She's not one of our people. Just because somebody look like you, that don't necessarily mean that they are you, man. You see? And here, they, I'm telling you, I couldn't even believe it when I got this. Like, huh? I sent them an email back, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, look, I don't vote. <laughs> Please lose my email. I don't vote. The hell out of here, man. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get this quick scripture, though. This is Deuteronomy 17 and 15. Thou shalt in any wise set him king. Matter of fact, let me go into it. I got to get this, this verse before that. It says guidelines for a king. And, and, and that's exactly what a president is in a sense. You know, he, he has, you know, some some some, you know, rulership type of rules, so to speak, even though the elite are running things. We understand that, you know, but verse 14, Deuteronomy 17 and 14. When thou art coming to the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And this was when we was in the land of e uh, um, Israel, man, when we came out of Egypt and shall possess it and shall dwell therein and, sh and, and shall say, I will set a king over me like as all the like as all the nations that are about me. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee whom the Lord thou should that the Lord, let me start that back over. Salakia. Like thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. So our Lord, yeah, how is supposed to choose whoever's supposed to be over us? But let's see how that how that goes. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Ain't no goddamn old Biden should be over us. No damn Obama. No damn Hamite. We're Shemites, man. We're from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. We are the children of Israel. We're not supposed to have no goddamn bone through the nose ass African over us, man. We're not Africans. This guy is not um, 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 of our um, lineage. It says, thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. One from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. Obama is not our brother. Biden is for goddamn sure not our brother. Neither one of them are. All they've done was destroyed us as a nation of people. These are the pe th these two dudes that claim that they love you Democrats, you so-called Negroes. It's mainly you. They love you so much that they got a Planned Parenthood in all your neighborhoods so you can kill off your babies, man. And then they pushing on you that your little boy can be a little girl and your little girl can be a little boy. How in the hell is that love? When that's completely damn genocide because they, they, they prefer that your ass just die off. Obviously, because a man and man is not producing nothing. A woman and woman is not producing nothing. And going to the abortion clinic is not producing nothing. But they promote this stuff. They push this shit on our people. And you know what? You wicked ass niggas, man. Y'all go out and vote for these niggas, man. You go out and vote for the very niggas that want your 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 lineage to, to fucking fall off, man. It's lock you. You go out and vote for the very niggas that want you to kill your offspring. It's, it's amazing. And you know what? That's why the Lord going to get it two-thirds for our people, man. Two-thirds of you niggas. Man, look. I, I don't even want no parts of that. It's not going to be a pretty look, though. Let me see. Let me, let, me, let me see if I can find that real quick. Telling you, man. Here you go, Jake. Hey, Jake's starting to wake up, though. Jake's starting to wake up. That's Zachariah, man. Some, hey, a lot of our people are starting to wake up, and that's a good thing. In what's going on with this Kanye um situation and this Kyrie Irving situation, where our people are starting by the millions in droves are looking into this Israelite thing because they've been seeing brothers on the highways and byways, man. We, we're telling you nothing but love. We're telling you that you are the greatest people on the planet Earth. The Lord chose you to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth, man. 
That's Deuteronomy 7 and 6. You got it in Deuteronomy 14 and 2. We're telling you that you are the people that the Lord chose. And here you go. You want to get down with a motherfucker that want to kill you off, man. Stop voting for these people. I'm straight up, man. And this is Zechariah 13. Is is um, the title was the scattering of the sheep. I'm gonna start at verse seven. A wake or sword against my shepherd, and against the man that is felt that is my fellow, saith the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. And I will turn mine hand upon the little ones, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. You want to be a part of that third. You don't want to be a part of that two third. That 60 point, that 66.6 percent .6 of niggas that's going to be knocked off when this place is destroyed because you're running it behind the enemy, man. You you we're behind enemy lines and you having drinks with this nigga, man. You sniffing lines of coke with the enemy, man. It's, it's ridiculous. Y'all niggas better wake up, man. We living in the very last of days, man. These people are about to pull the, the, the biggest motherfucking magician trick on you niggas that you've ever seen, man. And it's going to be all about the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Why? Because the brothers have been going out. And the prophets are out there on the highways and byways letting you know what it is. And you are ignoring them. Matter of fact, let's go into um, Proverbs. Because this is pretty much what's going on right here. Proverbs chapter 1. Let me see where to start at. I'm gonna start right here. Wisdom shouts in the streets, and that, that's the title on this in the, um, the New Living Translation. Wisdom crieth with this is verse twenty, Proverbs one and twenty. Wisdom crieth without; she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse and the openings of the gates in the city. She uttereth her words, saying, "That's why you see the brothers out on the highways and byways with the hey, they out there with the scriptures. They got the signs up." They showing you the, the signs of the, the nuclear warfare that's about to come. They showing you signs of the, the slave ships, signs of a, 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 a white Jesus with the horns on his head to let you know that the so-called white man beat white Jesus into you. Our Lord is not some white guy. So the brothers is going out and they letting you know these things, man. It says, how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning? And fools hate knowledge. How long y'all gonna be simple as hell, man? How long you niggas gonna... I was just at the store, and, and, and you got the nigga woman. She out here with these babies, man. Them babies is like two, three years old. You walking them in the rain from liquor store to liquor store, talking about some goddamn trick-or-treat. Here you go in cold and flu weather. They out here wet as hell with the little... With, with their little costumes on. Because, all because you want to keep the so-called white man's traditions and shit, man. The Lord is about to destroy you nigga women, you niggas, and your babies right along with you, man. You better repent. It says, she cried in the chief places of concourse, in the opening of the gates in the city, she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. How long you gonna hate the knowledge of Yahweh about Shimei Awashai? The all almighty, the all knowing. He knows everything. Here you go. You and with your puny ass mind, just thinking and making plans or, or for next week to go do some wickedness, man. It says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. So if you turn and you listen, the Lord is going to let you know, hey, look, man, I'm going to put you on game. Them niggas trying to kill you. But check it out. Because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regard it. So you don't want to listen. Some of you, the, the, the Lord is telling you, it's a nigga around the corner. He's ready to, ready to blow your damn head off, basically. And, and you just like, oh, man, that man, ain't nobody with me. Proudful as hell, prideful as hell, man. But ye have said it not my, all my counsel and with none of my reproof. So you like, man, no, Lord, I... I Man, fuck what you got to say. I ain't listening to that, man. Ain't nobody messing with me out here. I'm me. <laughs> it says, but ye have said it nor all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So the Lord is going to be laughing at your ass. When you get knocked off your high horse, he's going to be laughing at you, man. 
It says, when your fear comes at desolation and your destruction comes at the whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, ooh, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. See that? So the Lord, there's a time period with getting with the Lord, man. There's a time period. You need to be making haste. When you hear these scriptures coming out, you need to be like, up, oh, yup, hey, Lord, what do I need to do? Repent. How do you repent? First off, you got to know the father's name and his son's name. The true name of the father, Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be in Paleo Hebrew. You have to know the true name of his son to even get to him because that's the only way to him. And that name is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. So you got to repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahawashai, first off. You see, it says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So, hey, you walking right, you walking right, <laughs> walking yourself right into a trap because you have no foreknowledge. You don't have no foreknowledge. You don't know what's going to happen in the next 30 seconds. A goddamn airplane can land on your house in the next 30 seconds. But Jake out here proud as hell. I'm going to do this next week. I'm, doing, I'm going to Florida next month. I'm going down and by the year 2030, I ship my business going to be off the ground. Look, man, this place is through. I mean, it's high time to awake out of sleep. That's the best thing that you can do right now. Hey, all we need right now is to go to work, handle our business, handle our bills, and, and, and live day to day, man. And wait on your, our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's it. Our daily bread. All them fucking making plans for, for next year, the year after. Man, look, America is through. Here you go. You got a nigga sending me an email. What is weak? I didn't even vote. Man, I'm, you know what? And that was before I came in the truth. I didn't vote for that nigga. Some goddamn Obama. And I can remember I was living in New York when that nigga came into office. And niggas in New York was going nuts, especially them bitches. The nigga woman was going crazy for that nigga, man. Not knowing that he's a damn Hamite that wants you to go to the abortion clinic and knock your damn son off, man, so he don't grow up to reproduce. You know how wicked that is? That's an enemy, man. No one that's a friend of yours is going to tell you to stop your lineage, man. Yo, come on, man. Like, golly, yo. Let's get this Romans real quick. Romans 13 and 11. And he reads, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. Look, we're at the point of this place is about to be fucking blown to smithereens damn near, man. We at that time period. And Jake out here just, you out here trick-or-treating, nigga. Man, you deserve everything you get. And, and watch the news. Watch the news tomorrow morning and see how many Jake got the business out here at a goddamn Halloween party. Or how many, just wait, how many kids were kidnapped? How many kids was poisoned by, by fentanyl lace and Snickers or some shit, man? You just wait. Verse 12, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Man, it's, it's high time to awake out of sleep. We're living in the last days and niggas want to trick or treat. Here you go over here in South Korea, what was it, like 150 people got smashed and killed, trampled on, out trick-or-treating? In South Korea, that lets you know, man, hey, you countries, hey, look, fuck these other countries. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you need to leave this so-called white man's system alone. That motherfucker want to burn the house down trying to fry a turkey for Thanksgiving? Let him do it. He wants to burn down the house. Lighting up a goddamn Christmas tree? Let him do it. All these damn abominable, uh, 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 idolatrous ass holidays. He wants to burn the house down with fireworks landing on his roof and shit from 4th of July? Let him do it. You go out here trick or treating this shit. And the and so called white man, they'll, they'll trick or treat and they'll do it even safer than you Negroes. They'll have their little community. 
they, they, they'll have their little community talk. Oh, we're going to just, you know, we're not going to let Sarah eat too many pieces. You know, it's just a, a thing for them. Here you go. You will take Jake out and, and, and let him trick or treat. And you'll let the, the fucking babies eat candy until the tooth are rotten, man. Until the teeth are fucking gone. What kind of, I mean, well, you know, just nutritional wise. Like, what the hell are you thinking about? And one thing I can't say about my neighborhood, I ain't never, you know what, out of all the years I've been living in the house that I'm living in, I've never had nobody tap on my door and say trick or treat. Never. And if they do, I wouldn't even know how to, I already know the damn door gonna be more likely slammed. But you know, I do it in a polite way. No, I don't celebrate American holidays. Clunk. <laughs> Come on, man. It's high time to wake out of sleep, man. We're living in the last days. There's no time to be out here worshiping Satan. You go motherfuckers out here, man, spending money to go to a haunted house. You spending ga gas costs too much to be driving up to a haunted house and then you got to pay admission when you get there. Then when you get from going there, you, you, you get away from there and you pull up in a drive through and you order a goddamn Baconator, man. Some more abominable shit to go on top. It's just iniquity on top of iniquity on top of iniquity, man. And when that iniquity adds up, man, the Lord will get at you real something serious, man. And a lot of our people got that on them, man. It's like we need we need to repent on a day to day basis. And ask you, how about you, man? I try to have mercy on us, man. Here you go, Jake. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Yo, hey, you better pull that mic of two and ten and come out of this place. The scripture says to come out of this place, man. Matter of fact, let's get that. I'll end out there. You got to come out of this place, man. This place is wicked as hell. Here you go over in South Korea, they're having a, a moment of silence for damn near 200 people getting killed because you're all out celebrating the white man's holiday called Halloween. Come on, man. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. Nowhere is more polluted than America where they want your little baby... To, uh, your little baby boy to, 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 to give him options to turn into a little baby girl. You know this place is sorely, uh, will sorely pollute your ass, man, when they got shit like that going on. Matter of fact, <laughs> never mind, man. But hey, all that stemmed from your boy right here, Obama. Look at these donate. They want you to donate $7, $10. To, hey, they got a price for everybody. And you know, Jay, hey, Jake can barely afford food. And they'll do this, man. They'll do this. Oh, we got to. Why would you keep the motherfuckers that, that there that's keeping you from being able to buy food? That's keeping you from being able to even afford a tank of gas, man. Why? And I was kicking it with my uncle, man. He's adamant about going back to vote for this motherfucker. I'm like, man, what the hell are you thinking about? But that's the mindset of these Negroes and that democratic mindset. Because they try and make, they, they put you against the Republican and the, the motherfucker won't even listen to the Republican. You don't even know what the Republican, matter of fact, Jake don't even know what Democrats are about. Less on the Republicans. Because every single time I ask people, I was like, well, what is Obama going to do? What's, the, you know, what's his agenda? Oh, I don't know. Um, you know, uh, you know. Just got to pick one of the better, you know, better evils. Like, well, shit, you, at least you know both of them evil. When um, uh, Biden was running against Trump, choose the lesser evil, huh? The, and I'm talking about older people, like motherfuckers in their 70s. Like, bro, you've been voting since you was 18. You don't, you still don't know the candidates that you voting for? You don't know who you going out wasting gas to vote for? Oh, I just vote all Democrat. Well, what the fuck is all of them doing? You don't know nothing about the agenda. You just going out there like, you know, well, they Democrats. They got to be. Hey, that's who I'm with. Just a bunch of doofies, man. But anyway, I just wanted to go off into this a little bit, man. But that lets you know how bad they're doing. That's let you know how bad they're doing. And this right here is another indicator that if they win another election, Hey, you see they went out there in the um, 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 Nancy Pelosi crib and, 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 and beat the shit out of her husband, right? Hey, these so-called white people, man, they pissed. Let another major election go down and see how these, hey, you see, hey, that, 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 that January 6th 
shit when ain't, ain't, ain't shit compared to what's coming. When they was out there at the Capitol building, insurrection or whatever. Man, these so-called white people ready to go to damn civil. Hey, it's about to be civil war in this bitch, man. And Jake out here taking the kids to get some shit to ride their teeth out, man, on Halloween. Y'all better wake y'all asses up, man. And so lock you for the language, man, the rent. But hey, <laughs> hey, we trying to pull you from the fire. We're in the last days, man. This place is, is about to be destroyed. These, these so-called white people are, are being revealed for, be, for, for the wicked that they are. And, and the upper ones, the top ones, the Amaleks, the 1948ers with the small hats on, they're being revealed as not being the holy people. Man, they, these people are about to get busy on y'all asses, man. And, and, and it's time to be prepared. At least know what's coming. I'm telling you, man. Wake y'all asses up. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.